Summer's here, it's about 95 degrees outside, and I figured now would be the perfect time to drop my top 10 summer designer fragrances. I'm gonna be doing a niche list to follow up to this video, so if you want to get into some luxury fragrances, some higher end fragrances, you're gonna to wanna to stay tuned for that one. But today is all about the designers. We have a bunch of different price points here. Anything from about $10 up to a little over $100. So there's a little bit for everyone here. So no matter what budget you're in, no matter what you're looking for in terms of the types of scents, I cover a lot of different things in here. So if you guys are ready, top 10 summer fragrances, designers, let's crack into it. First up, number 10. Azaro Chrome United. This stuff is awesome. Probably one of my favorite Azaro Chrome flankers. This stuff is great. It's green, it's citrusy, it's fresh. It utilizes tea with some other citruses, a bit of a green herbalness as well, and it's also very musky. Now, you know, Azaro Chrome DNA and Azaro Chrome fragrances aren't going to be the most unique. This stuff is not unique but it is pleasant and it does smell really nice and it's also affordable. I will link all of these fragrances down below. You can get this bad boy, this 200 mil for like $20, $20, $25, which is crazy. You get an insane amount of scent here in this big bottle and you're not paying a lot for it. Get good performance, great mass appeal, and just overall you're gonna be smelling clean and fresh in the summertime. What more can you ask for? Number nine, we have Versace Pour Homme. It pains me to put this one at number nine. Those of you who know, you know this is one of my favorite summer fragrances of all time, and really just, actually, just one of my favorite fragrances. It doesn't have to be for summer. You can wear this one year around. Uh, this, the official name of this fragrance is Versace Signature. Pretty, pretty fitting name here because this could be your signature scent that you wear anytime, anywhere and I love it. I love this DNA, even though it may be basic, even though a lot of people may wear it. This and Chanel Allure Homme Sport, two of my favorites of all time. So it's tough putting it number nine, but I, and the reason why I don't like doing top 10 videos that much, I do a lot of 10 videos where I feature 10 fragrances, but if you go look across my channel, the majority of them are just 10. I don't rank them, and the reason why is because I don't want you to think that fragrances at 10, nine, and eight are gonna be not as good as you know one, two, and three. So you know, I'm always a little bit hesitant when I do these top 10 videos. Just because this is at number nine doesn't mean it's not as good as the fragrances at the top of the list. Really, I just kind of rank them in terms of how much I'm gonna be wearing them and you know, just better options for summer. While this is a great option for summer, there's a lot of other great options as well that may not be quite as utilized as much as this one, regardless of that little spiel. Number nine, Versace Pour Homme, one of the best. Number eight, we have Hugo Boss Reversed. You guys know all about this one, I love it. I don't care what anyone says, you can say what you want about this stuff, but you can't spray this in the air and not smell that invigorating opening and say that it smells bad. This stuff is awesome. Seriously, give it a shot if you want a summer citrus fragrance that's going to be a bit different than everything else out there, plain and simple. You get into summer fragrances, a lot can start to smell the same, they can get repetitive, a bit boring. This one kind of breaks it up, offers something a little bit different, it gets good performance on me, it's affordable, it's got really good quality, surprisingly, it's just a winner all around. Hugo Boss reversed at number eight, it's gonna get a lot of wear for me this summertime. Moving into number seven, we have Bleu de Chanel Eau de Parfum. Now, you may be thinking the EDT would be a better choice, and to some extent, you may be right. In terms of simply um, a summer fragrance, you know, which one's gonna be the best for summer, you might be better off with the EDT. I have the EDT, I have the EDP, I have the Parfum. You know, really my favorite two is gonna be the EDP and the Parfum. Parfum's gonna be my first favorite, this being my second favorite. And again, the EDT is great, but the EDP, in my opinion, is even better, and I will still wear this in the summertime. Is it gonna be something that I'll wear on the hottest of days? No, but it is gonna be something that I'd wear in summer evenings, um, summer dinners, um, going out, that sort of thing, um, just when it's cooled off or I'm indoors or I'm in a situation where I'm a bit more dressed up and I want something classy, I'll go for this one. 
It may not be everyone's choice for a summer fragrance. You know, a lot of people are going to be choosing some of the other Blue Brothers. Um, this one kind of gets lumped into more of a year-round scent or maybe spring. Uh, but for me, it's a summer fragrance. I like to wear it in the summer. And I'm going to continue to wear it in the summer. Number seven, Blue de Chanel EDP. And of course, this is going to be the one that's going to be running you over $100. So if you want something more affordable, keep watching the video because we got that coming up. Number six, we have Invictus Aqua. One of the best summer fragrances of all time, really, in my opinion. Of course, um, there are a few out there that as soon as they bring up Invictus Aqua, they have to mention that this is better than the 2016 and that, you know, blah, 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 blah. I'm not going to sit here and tell you which one's better. I'll tell you that my preference is the 2016, but I'm not going to tell you it's better. And I'm also not going to tell you that this one is worse just because, you know, I don't like it as much. You know, every time this comes up, there's always a 2016, 2018 debate. It's annoying. The 2016 is in the past. Who cares? We have the 2018 now. And for videos going forward and that I've been doing for a while, I talk about the 2018 one only unless I'm talking about discontinued fragrances or something like that. But anyway, Invictus Aqua 2018, like I mentioned, really one of the best summer fragrances. Invictus is okay. Invictus Legend, you know, it's whatever. Um, but Invictus Aqua is a home run. It's a killer. It smells great in the summertime. It's got good performance. It's very eye-catching or very attention-grabbing, I guess I should say. Um, and, and it's something that when you spray it, it smells like pure summertime. No other way to put it. Enough said. Invictus Aqua 2018 for summertime. It's maybe a little bit low on the list for some of you, and it is kind of for me too. Breaking into the top five, we have one from Nautica. This is going to be one of the 10 to 12 dollar fragrances, 10 to 12, 15, somewhere around in there, depending on what the prices are doing this uh, week and whenever you're watching the video. It's Nautica Aqua Rush. Really was close to putting Voyage in here, and I could have. And I will tell you, if you like Voyage better than this, of course you could substitute Voyage. You can put Voyage wherever you want. You know, it's one of my favorite cheapies of all time, but I can tell you what, Aqua Rush is becoming one of my favorites as well. It's going to be right up there with Voyage for me, and these two are almost head and head. I've been wearing this one a ton lately, and it smells great. It's a nice, fresh, and fruity aquatic scent. It's clean. It's musky. It's really everything you look for in a summer fragrance, and when you smell this one, you can't help but think of summertime. That's number five. If you want, you know, I mean, the most affordable fragrance on this list, if you're on a budget, if you're not wanting to spend a lot and you just want something you can wear all this summer, spray it on heavy and not have to worry about it, check this one out. Coming in at number four, we have one that's usually in pretty high demand. Oftentimes I'll be looking on discounters and I see that this one is sold out quite a bit. So again, I will do my best to link it down below. If it's in stock, seriously, jump on it right now if you want it that is um, because if you wait it's going to go out of stock again we're in the prime season for this stuff and like i said this stuff is always selling out it comes back into into stock for a few days and it sells out again this stuff is in high demand and there's a good reason for it it's john vervedos artisan pure what a lovely scent this is another one where if you want a summer fragrance but different you gotta check this one out. There's really not a whole lot out there that smells like this one. Uh, I see online people compare it to Zerzhov Neo. To be honest, I don't really get too much Neo out of this. Neo is, to me, a completely different scent. Um, there's something sparkling and just different about Neo. It's bergamot to the next level. If you've smelled it, you know what I mean. It, it's pretty hard to miss. Uh, you smell it one time and you'll be able to pick it up um, if you smelled it again, it's that sort of thing. It really leaves an impression on you. Um, this fragrance really leaves an impression on you too, or impression on you too, uh, but it doesn't really smell that much like Neo. Regardless, it does smell like a summer fragrance. Orange, citruses, herbal notes. This is not for everyone. You know, this is not your generic, mass pleasing designer summer scent or an aquatic or anything like that. This is. Kind of like you're you're in a summer garden and got citruses around you, herbs around you, and a white t-shirt. That's kind of what it smells like because it's got a bit of a, a clean smell underlying as well. 
regardless of that, get your nose on it, try it out, and again, if it's in stock and you want it, hit that link and get it before it's too late. Okay guys, so we're at number three. I can tell you the top three was tricky for me. You know, I was really kind of shuffling things around. I didn't know what order I wanted to put these in. Um, in my opinion, these three fragrances coming up are really the best for summer, period. At least in terms of designer fragrances, some of the best summer fragrances that money can buy, in my opinion. Of course, everyone looks for something different. These aren't going to be the uh, strongest performing fragrances. Well, one of them is very strong. The other two, not so much. They aren't going to be you know, necessarily the most mass pleasing fragrances. I mean, one of them is, a couple of them maybe not so much, but you get what I'm trying to say here. Everyone has different criteria as to what they're looking for. For me, these are simply fragrances that when I smell them, I think of summer. No other way to put it. That's what makes a summer fragrance for me is one that I can smell it and I'm brought back to summer and wonderful memories and I make wonderful memories with them. So even though these are still in order, you know, three, two, one, they're all really about the same for me. I just kind of had to put them in order somehow. Number three, Givenchy Gentleman Cologne. I've said it before, probably one of the best summer releases within the past couple years. If you, again, you want something different for summer, get this one. No exceptions, no questions asked. When it's in stock, you're looking at about 50 to $55. You can't beat that. Great quality, like seriously, great, great quality. Unique scent, it smells great, decent performance. The summer scent, Shivanchi Gentleman Cologne. Number two, again, this one was really, really tough for me. And as I was picking this one up, I thought about switching my number two and my number one again because, again, I love all of these so much. I mean, all of the ones on this list, I love, and they are all great summer fragrances. I was switching a lot of them around. This top three was especially tough. Dior Ohm Cologne. Am I making a mistake putting it at number two? I mean, I guess it doesn't matter. I told you guys my one through three are all pretty much equal to me. It's a pretty good rhyme. Uh, number one, number two, number three, all pretty much equal. The order doesn't matter. Dior Homme Cologne, I'm sure you've heard this one described before, so I'm not gonna describe it to you, but it's gorgeous. This nice, sweet, uh, I'm not gonna describe it, sorry. I told you I wasn't going to, so I'm not. One of the most summer smelling fragrances you can possibly buy on the market, Dior Homme Cologne, at number two. And finally, number one, Bulgari Aqua Atlantique. This is the mass pleasing one. This is the high performance performance one, as I was talking about uh, before I started my top three. This fragrance has me all over the place here. This list does, very tough list to compose. This stuff, it's Aqua Atlantique. One of my personal favorites. It's my favorite blue fragrance. It's my strongest blue fragrance. It's the blue fragrance that gets the most compliments, at least for me, in my experience. What more can you ask for? Not for everyone. Some people say it smells like eggs. Some people just don't like it, and that's fine. This is my list, my preferences. You can swap any other blue fragrance in here that you want. Dylan Blue, Sauvage, whatever. In my opinion, this is the best. Aqua Atlantique at number one. It's probably going to be staying in my top three for as long as I can predict. Oh, so guys, that was it for me. That was my top 10 summer designer fragrances. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. Look out for the niche list coming up. If you want to pick any of these up, check them out down below. Thank you guys for watching. Stay safe. We'll see you tomorrow night with another one. Take care.